What is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza and today I'm going to show y'all how to change the hood struts on a 100 series Land Cruiser in my regular street clothes because it's that easy. Coming up next. <laughs> All right, so here I am with my 100 series Land Cruiser and we're gonna do the hood struts on this thing today. And let me tell y'all, it's very important that you do this because even though I'm standing like this, I have my hand like this just in case this thing falls because mine have been failing. If you look over there, you can see that the grease is actually leaking out, or not the grease, but the oil that goes inside of the actual hood strut is leaking out, causing a very dangerous situation where if you're not careful, this hood can fall on your head and it's not a pretty look if this thing falls on you because this hood is very, very heavy. And when you're in the process of changing these hood struts, you're going to actually be able to see how heavy this hood really is when you don't have the assistance of the hood struts holding this thing up. So it's a really easy job to do, and we're going to go ahead and do it right now. And um, something that I want to add is that if you're in a bind and this thing isn't stand up, something that you can do quickly to keep the hood up is go ahead and latch a pair of uh, vice grips onto the actual uh, piston and that will keep the hood in the up position until you can get these things replaced but I think you should definitely replace them sooner than later because they're very cheap $20 for a set on Amazon and they're very easy to pop in so let's go ahead and dig into it all right now that I've displayed to you the imminent danger that you're under by not changing your hood struts now we can go ahead and show you how to repair this so first thing you want to do is safely prop your hood up so it doesn't come collapsing on your head. I like to use the axe to prop it up, like so. So we're going to just take the mighty axe like that and we're going to position it in a way that it can safely keep your head from being crushed by the hood. Now that we got that sorted out, let's go ahead and replace these pesky struts. One of the things you might want to first consider doing is comparing your uh, replacement strut to your OEM strut. So this is the OEM Toyota strut and this is the replacement from Amazon. Now these things are only 19 bucks so they might last a year, two years, three years, but you might get lucky. They might even last 10 years. You never know. So uh, yeah, they're available and they come in one day off of Amazon. So why not? Let's give it a try. So everything looks exactly the same. The length looks right. So we're going to go ahead and put these in. So the one and only tool you're going to need for this job is a lucky number 12 wrench or you can use like, you know, you can use a couple of different tools to do this. You can probably use some uh, vice grips, channel locks, stuff like that. But the easiest thing is probably something just like this. Number 12. And then you're going to put this on the screw in on the, yeah, on the screw in part of your new struts. Now, first thing you're going to do is remove the old ones, obviously, because uh, that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and do that right meow. As you can see, these are never tied, torched in too crazy. So all you gotta do is screw them out. Now that you have both of them off, you can really triple check just to be sure that both of the parts are exactly the same and these two parts look exactly the same we're going to go ahead and screw this one into place we're going to do the let's do the bottom first gotta be careful not to cross thread them get them on in there once you get it started get it in this bottom part then you can go ahead and do the top and what you're going to usually notice is that the top is going to be a little off so you're going to have to lift the hood up without this axe falling over you so now we got to do that so now we're going to carefully lift the hood up a little bit so we can get this part threaded in yeah. there it goes now we gotta do is thread it in now if y'all didn't notice that i had to rotate it around counterclockwise to get it in the right position but now it's positioned properly now we're going to tighten up the top And if you take a little bit of tension off the hood, you'll find it's a lot easier to thread it in here. If you take the, some of the weight off from the hood. Now you can hold it how I'm doing it, or you can, you can have an assistant, or you can use your ax again to hold this up 
so it makes it a lot easier quicker to thread it in place all right top is tight now let's go and do the bottom And now we're going to do the same thing on the driver's side. So this was the one that was leaking the worst. They were both probably starting to go out. But uh, yeah, this one was leaking a lot. And this is made by KYB. It's not a Toyota part, but it looks like it's a Japanese brand. I see a bunch of Japanese uh, characters on here and Chinese characters. So I don't know if this is Chinese or Japanese, but it's made by KYB. Probably not OEM like I originally thought. But uh, yep, now I can go ahead and replace them. And uh, my hood won't fall on my head anymore. All right, I'm going to install the passenger side. Because you know that's how we do. That's what we came here to do. All right, let's check our handiwork and see if it closes and opens. Ooh, wow, it's tight now. It's really tight. I didn't expect it to be that strong. Man, my other straps are really going out. All right, let's pop the hood. Wow, it even lifts higher when you pop the hood. Didn't do that before. Comes up with a vengeance. Wow, look at that. All right, boys and girls, what have we learned here today? Uh, we've learned that it is imperative to change your hood struts on a regular basis. Didn't realize how bad mine had actually gotten until the thing fell down on me a couple of times. Yeah, it happened more than once. And then I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and change this. But don't be like me. Don't be like this guy. Change your hood struts, especially on your, you know, 100 series Land Cruisers and other trucks like this that have really heavy hoods. They can really hurt you if they fall on you. So. Uh, be safe. This is KRT Live, KRT Live with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment. Hope this video helps you guys out out there. And now I don't have to be as paranoid about having half of my body like this with the hood up, hoping that the hood doesn't come crashing down on me and biting my hand or my head. See y'all in the next vlog. Peace.